Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to be having a look at one of my latest projects. Uh, Gnar from League of Legends has to be one of my biggest projects to date, even though he might not really look like it. Uh, he's about 25 inches tall, not including the bird skull. Uh, he's made out of minky and faux fur. He has faux fur on the back of his head and for the tail. Like most of my plushies, he has a machine embroidered face. Uh, he also has embroidered paw pads on all his feet. Um, one of Nar's coolest feature is that he's pretty much entirely machine sewn. Uh, the only thing that I attached by hand were the tusks, uh, the claws, and the fur around his neck. Everything else, the neck, the arms, the legs, the tail, all attached uh, by machine, not hand sewn. So the reason I've gone through the trouble of machine sewing most of them is because he features a plastic armature skeleton. It goes all the way through him. Uh, it works best in the arm because they're kind of skinnier than the rest of them. His legs are kind of a bit chubby for it. Also goes through the tail. It poses really well. So by machine sewing most of them, uh, that really gave me a lot of room to play with the armature. I didn't have to worry about it going through pieces and whatnot. It just went in. That's it. And the armature really adds a lot of personality to him. The only exception to the plastic armature are the ears. Uh, the ears are actually wire because the plastic armature wouldn't fit in them. Now the next thing with him is that all of his accessories are removable. Uh, the skull hat just pulls right off, has three magnets holding it there, one at the bottom and two at the top. He's got the same thing inside his head, so it just snaps right on. It's fairly solid. Uh, the loincloth, same thing, you just pull on the string and it comes off. Uh, and the reason for this is because he comes with the dino suit. So Gnar actually has two outfits that he can switch between. Now we're just going to cut and I'll show him with the dino suit on. So here we are. He's all dressed up. Um, my favorite part of this outfit has to be the face. It's full of details. I love how the little teeth go around his face. Uh, he's got the spikes going all the way along his back. The only difference, uh, we had to modify the outfit a little bit to work in real life. Uh, the feet that were on the model uh, didn't really work in real life because uh, on the Dino Nar model, he doesn't have the foot claws, but regular Nar has them. And since we have both versions for this plush, uh, we decided it would be better to just cut off the feet and make them into a cuff. Because trying to put a full foot uh, around the claws, it would have been all lumpy and uneven, it wouldn't have looked nice. So just um, cutting it off and making it the same as the sleeve, it looks nice. It works a lot better for the actual plush. So here you have it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this plush overview. Uh, unfortunately, Nar is already sold. He was a custom order. But I do take commissions. I have an online shop. All that is linked in the description below. You can check it out. Uh, I also have a Facebook page and a Deviant page that are updated super frequently with all of my new work, so if you want to see more of my plushies, those would be the places to go. Uh, these are also linked in the description below. So, Gnar and I hope you really enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye!